I have a beer from a brewery that I had never heard of before. Bridge Brewing at the North Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, North Shore Pale Ale. They don't have a big distribution. They're pretty much in Western Canada and Northern Washington. So there's the bottle. It's pretty basic looking. Just you know, Bridge Brewery North Shore Pale. Our North Shore Pale Ale is a local secret, full body with a copper color and a sweet, mild caramel flavor. Finish is crisp and full of hops. It's highly drinkable and approachable. Now, down here, you'll see there's a basic profile. Well, it's kind of blurry, but that's a basic profile of what's in it. It says brewed with wa water, Cascadian, Canadian, Pilsner malt, Crystal malt, I don't know which one, they don't say, Munich, Carapils, the hops are Cascade, Magnum, and of course yeast. I wouldn't expect it to be too dark, but since I don't know what crystal they used, I expect it to be a little bit malty uh, with full body, because it has Carapils and they said full body. Carapils gives body a mouthfeel. Cascade and the Magnum hops, I'm expecting some citrusy, a uh, bunch of citrusy notes. 5.5% alcohol and 30 IBUs. It costs $5. This beer is a uh, year round. Open the bottle. Can't see that. There we go. Okay, that's probably near an inch of head on it. It's a nice lighter caramel color. I would say that's probably Crystal 40 would be my guess based on the color of it. None of the other malts that are used in here would have a dark color like that. If that is Crystal 40, that's toffee and caramel. A little bit of sweetness out of the nose. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drink it now. Candy sweet caramel toffee. They're all soft to the palate. It hits my mouth and just kind of mostly stays on my tongue, but then just quickly dies down. I get a little hop tingling in the top of my mouth. Those candy toffee caramel flavors, like I mentioned, those are lingering a little bit. Nothing is real pronounced. Tingling bitterness tastes medium body to me. Most pails I have are not full body. They're usually light or medium. It has a good soft mouthfeel to it. Munich is going to be malty. So let's see if I get any maltiness out of it again. I didn't notice it. If there is any there, it's really soft. They may not have used very much in here. My guess is it has more crystal malt than anything. I'm not picking up anything else. No grain, no malt, no biscuit. Some of the, just the base malts, like two row pilsner. Can't can give those flavors, just depends on your palate. I'm gonna try the bottle now, see if it tastes any different. I actually get more hop notes from the bottle. I did get a hit of, of effervescence, of bubbliness, quite noticeable. Most on my tongue, a little bit of my mouth. The flavors cling to my tongue a little bit. I get the hop nibbling all over, as I mentioned. Maybe a little bit floral in there, just, just touches of it. The glass gives me the flavors I actually wanted, those, those crystal caramel flavors. The bottle is giving me more hops. I was expecting the, the, the crystal and Munich caramel and sweetness and toffee and the, the malt to be more more pronounced on the bottle. No off flavors I can tell. There is no diacetyl, acetone, paint solvent, nail polish. It does not taste skunk. No, no sunlight hit it that I can tell. Fusel alcohols, nothing. Would I buy it again? Um, I won't just because I wanted more of the caramel candy flavors out of it. It's just a little too, too hot forward for me. Would I recommend it? Uh, yeah, actually I would. It's all right. I don't think it's well-rounded. I don't think it's solid. Here's a bottle one more time. Bridge Brewing out of North Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, North Shore Pale Ale. Okay, well, that's all for this review. Cheers.